comes Alcohol Funny Car. And what figures to be a great matchup. Clint Thompson comes in with lane choice against Frank Manzo. We don't say that very often. And it's not a fluke. Clint has had the better race car through the entire eliminations. Frank Manzo figured after shaking the tires like he has, that nasty, violent tire shake in the last round, put a brand new clutch in the race car. He said, I got nothing to lose. The car just will not repeat. And that goes back to the Lucas Oil race at Englishtown there the other week because he has just not been able to put two good runs back to back. And no shot, Clint Thompson put him right back in that same right lane. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, Clint's been living in the 50s. He ran 5.59, 5.58, Normally, I wouldn't think that's a good enough time to beat Frank Manzo. But the way Frank's been running here this weekend, all bets are off. Clint said he dreamt about this. Coming here, Frank remembers one 29 consecutive final rounds. How far does that go back to? 2006. Will Clint Thompson beat a guy to break that string? We're about to find out. So hold on. Here we go. and it's Frank Manzo for the 30th consecutive time. What do you have to do to beat this man? Unbelievable. Clint Thompson runs exactly what he ran before, 5.58. Clint Thompson was first out of the starting gate. And then Frank Manzo goes 260 miles an hour to just take him out. What a marvelous end of the drag race. Here you go at the end of the racetrack. Look at this. You want to see the margin of victory, six thousandths of a second. Clint Thompson led it every increment on the racetrack except the one that matters. Clint Thompson, nothing to hang your head about, but just too much Frank Manzo, Lauren, once again. Frank, once again, but this weekend you kind of had some uncharacteristic passes. Did you ever have any doubt? No. I changed everything for the final. I haven't done that in 10 years. Didn't really have to do it, and I just really put everything basic back into it. I don't think it ran very good. It was really using a lot of clutch going down through there. Uh, Clint's a great racer. I have a lot of respect for him. What can I say? Today's my day. Alan Abbey, Shea Cowell, we got another one. My crew, my wife, Michelle, she's the biggest cheerleader. And uh, this was for my dad. We had a feeling he'd be proud. I teared up, Frank Manzo. Congratulations. We say it all the time. You're simply the man. By the way, to answer your question, I have no idea what you got to do to beat him. Yeah, nobody does. It's been a long time.